Since the Arctic Monkeys are dropping their newest album, Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, this Friday, we're taking a look back on their influential and illustrious career. They began their career burning CDs to give away at local gigs, which then began to circulate online. This compilation, known as Beneath the Boardwalk, caught the attention of Domino Recordings, who eventually signed them in 2005. Their 2006 record, Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not, became the fastest selling debut in UK history, selling over 360,000 copies in the first week. Following on from this massively successful debut came Favourite Worst Nightmare in 2007, which debuted at number one yet again. After that, the band continued to tour extensively and even headlined Glastonbury Festival in 2007. The release of Humbug in 2009 saw the band take to the stage as a headliner at Reading Festival. The album also marked their third UK number one. Suck It and See then came two years later in 2011. It pretty much cemented the band's status as one of the most celebrated rock acts of the modern era. Most notably during this era was their performance at the London 2012 Summer Olympics during the opening ceremony. Never once to slow down, the Arctic Monkeys released AM in 2013. The album brought them widespread critical acclaim. They also made history as the first independent label band to rack up five consecutive number one albums in the UK. Following a two-year hiatus, the band are releasing their sixth album, Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. If their history is anything to go by, we're sure it's going to be nothing short of incredible.